After that, I flew straight back here. So the Order of St. Michael funded the whole Phoenix operation? And Anna Maria ran it. What happened to the gold? Maynard didn't know. You think Anna Maria does? Did. Remember, she wanted you to help her find a missing treasure. Treasure? Exactly. But what kind? What, the elixir of life? Some kind of wonder cure for every illness? Or a weapon. No. No, Maynard was crazy. You can't believe him. Why should he lie? Anna Maria wouldn't have got mixed up in... Maynard was vaporized. That powder, the gold, it's a fuel, Georges. Fuel for a weapon. Believe me. Well, now, I've made a lovely pot of tea. We need to go back and check out the monastery. Oh? Oh, what's happened? Let me come with you. Sorry, Mark. You better leave this to us. I can handle myself. It could be dangerous. We need you here, in case something goes wrong. I always miss the fun. We're not in this for the fun, Mark. Come on, Nico. Let's go. The square is lifeless. Perfect conditions for sneaking in. Hello, Archie. How you doing? Who's that, then? Well, it's me, George Stobart, from the apartment block. My dear boy, what a pleasure to see you again. Giles, isn't it? I never forget a face. Just names, huh? So, what brings you down this way? Well, in my line of work, you've got to keep moving. Work? I'm writing a book, you see. Oh, what's it called? Tipples Round the Globe. Kid's story, huh? Little cat, maybe, on a boat with some animal chumps. Dear me, no. Encyclopedia of booze, country by country. You haven't got very far, then. Can't see straight enough to write. Hmm, wonder why that is. Damned if I know. You like wine, don't you? I've been known to have the odd drop. What do you make of this? It's a vintage red from inside the Vatican. What kind of bottle do you call that? It's travel size. Well, it wasn't worth the trip, if you ask me. You sure do have a thing for my friend there. She's a fine woman. Curvy. Voluptuous. Lovely soft edges. Huh? Cheers, Archie! Hey, tourist, that place is off limits to you. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, fella. I thought this was my hotel. No, it is not. Now keep away from the door or I shall arrest you. You betcha. <laughs> sure does look like my hotel, though. You're doing? Oh, just admiring your bottle of meths? That, that's got to last me till sunrise, you know. You sure live the high life, Archie. Hey, Archie, can you spare a minute? That's all I can spare, old boy. What's with the meths? What comes after Macon? It does. The alphabet of booze. Macon, meths, Bouton. Oh, I see. You're not drinking it. You're just tasting. Somebody's got him. But how come he's still alive? That's a moot point, Jeffrey, old fella. How would you like to do a trade for your meths? Well, it depends on what you've got to trade. So, do you fancy my bottle of red, then? It's empty, George. An empty bottle maketh no man drunken. Very perceptive. My intellect is pills. Pickled, you mean? What would you say to this vintage salami, Archie? I'd say, beggar off. Damn stuff gives me wind. I know the feeling. Chapel moves in my kind of circles. Can't afford to have glitches in the old body odor department. Of course. 
Cheers, Archie. Hey, a half-full bottle of Krug champagne. Vatican. Party City. Look what I just found. A legit bottle of Krug. The best champagne in the world. I'd give my right arm for that. Ah, uh, reminds me of the old days. Christmas tree lights, foul Thames, twinkling, plateful of shepherd's pie, the great and the good. Where are they now, eh? Where are they now? Hey, Archie, can you spare a minute? That's all I can spare, old boy. How would you like to do a trade for your meths? Well, it depends on what you've got to trade. How about the bottle of Krug for your meths? You've got yourself a deal, Mr. Stubbles. Hand it over and let the good times roll. <laughs> Enjoy the meths, rather on the sweet side for my taste, as it happens. Cheers, Archie. The Mets are mine. I can feel the arsonist in me coming back to the surface. Oh, the smell of the meths makes my eyes sting. Well, here goes. The guards will be coming any moment. Time to hide. Emergency. Emergency. The bin is burning. The bin is burning. Now that the guards have their hands full, I can get inside unnoticed. So... A secret room containing a secret machine. What are you talking about? This is our backup machine for special orders. Now, how did you get in here? And do I have to call the Swiss Guard before you'll leave? I think the sister and I need to have ourselves a little chat. What are you planning to do? Let's just say we need to get sisterly. You check around in here. It won't take long. Good luck. Oh, uh, you too, sister. You're gonna need it. A batch of wafers cooling down on the conveyor. Hmm, they smell good. Well, no one's watching. I'll have one. Hmm, pretty good. I'm sure another wouldn't do any harm. These look like the mixing vats and dough mixers. It isn't for dough, so what is it for? The equipment to measure the different parts of the mixture. Looks incredibly accurate. Now, what do these buttons do?
This wafer making business is trickier than it looks. Something in the darkness. No, it can't be. At the base of the mixing vats, traces of gold dust. It's monatomic gold. But what's this stuff doing near a wafer making machine? Huh? I can hear Nico returning with Sister Angelica. I think she'll cooperate now. Won't you, Sister? So, this wafer machine, what's it for? Special orders. I think for Il Papa himself. And what makes them special? The holy powder, of course. As a matter of fact, we've just finished a run tonight. Don't you think it's a bit strange having a special powder to make a special batch of wafers? I just do what I'm told. What's happened, George? I found traces of monatomic gold in this machine. But why would the church be putting gold into communion wafers? One thing's for sure, it's not to protect their teeth. Where's the rest of this holy powder? I have no idea. A batch came in and left almost immediately. It's being used for something else, I suppose. Someone's coming. But no one uses the factory at night. Quickly, shut the doors. It's Cardinal Gianelli. I don't think he's catching up on his paperwork. That's very odd. He never uses the factory entrance. I think we need to follow him. Um, what should I do? Stay here and pray for forgiveness. Look, Nico, there he is. Considering he's the boss, he looks pretty shifty. He must be headed for the offices. I'll go across the garden. You wait under those trees. Once I'm safely across, you join me. Sure thing, Georges. What took you so long, Georges? What the? You know me. I'm not one to hang around. That's what I've always liked about you, Nico. A fast mover. Devlin's office door is slightly open. I can hear movement inside. There's someone in there. Shh! Hey, Nico, take a look. Those are Devlin's files. What's he up to?
Correct me if I'm wrong here, Cardinal, but isn't that somebody else's safe? Or do you just not give a damn any longer? You. Haven't you done enough damage? No, oh, we've only just started. And we don't have much time. Where's the weapon? <laughs> you ask me? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. Yes, Your Eminence, don't pretend. Good timing, guys. So it is true, Monsignor Devon. You and the Americans were working together all along. Once again, Your Eminence, you fail to understand what is happening in front of your own eyes. We were working with Americans, but not this one. We must all be prepared to die for our faith. May the Lord forgive me. Ginelli was weak. He refused to let us build the weapon. But the weapon is our destiny! God granted it to the Order hundreds of years ago to smite the infidel when the time was right. And the time is right now, but Ginelli wouldn't listen. He was going to stop us. Fortunately, we found you in time. We couldn't have done it without you, Mr. Stobart. You translated the manuscripts, found the cherub, and even stopped the cardinal for us tonight. Remarkable. Oh, anytime. So, what happens now? We change the course of the world. And if we hadn't turned up when we did, he might have been able to stop us. But why? He betrayed the Order two years ago by forbidding us to use the Ark. Only Father Gregor and I have the strength to fulfill the Order's destiny, to smite the infidel and prove the righteousness of the One Faith. You mean kill everyone who hasn't taken on religion? It is our calling. So what happens now? We can use her, but we don't need him. You're right. Take her downstairs. But what happens to me? You're going to a much better place. Wake up, George, wake up! Oh, where's my wheelbarrow? What? I'm so sick and tired of being knocked out. All part of the job, I guess, for you. Mark? How did you get here? Abseiling's not as dangerous as it looks. So I see. I've been training all my life for this moment, George. Where's Nico? I don't know. He's alive. You must stop them. Nobody else here knows about this. Only you. But what are they doing? Where are they? They have the Ark. The Ark? And they have the gold to power it. I tried to stop them. You use the Mafia? God will forgive me. But the girl, Anna Maria, she was too clever for me. For me too. But your eminence, what will the Ark do? The Angel of Death will rise up and destroy the unbelievers for miles around. Only those whose faith is true will be saved. Devlin believes it will show the world that there is only one true God. He wants to start a worldwide crusade. Where is he? And where's Nico? You must stop him. Here. Take the manuscript. Find the Ark. Find the Ark, and stop him. He's dead. We have to find Nico. Gregor said something about downstairs. Three images of Jesus with the cross, carrying, putting it down, and the actual crucifixion. The second, the battling armies ensure strict rules that they respect. No Malmut can follow Templar or Hospitaller. Of lowly breed, Malmut must follow Turk to escape the assassin, sidestep to right, Templar and assassin must never follow the other. Always move forward and never back.
the fourth. The master shall show the way through the warmth of his heart. Finally, thou must prove thyself to be true. Symbol of the assassin. Symbol of the Turk. Symbol of the Templars. Symbol of the Mamluk. Symbol of the Hospitaller. There's a lock on the inside of the trap doors, but I need to get to it. The golf club isn't going to fit in the crack. I need more space between the doors. Try and hold these doors open a little for me, would you? Oh, you give it a go. Well done, Mark. We make quite a good team. Funny. In my dreams there was always a beautiful blonde cheering me on at a moment like this. A blonde, as in blonde girl? Of course. Oh, well, I thought you were, well, you know. What, George? Why, well, I, I kind of thought you didn't, well, have those feelings uh, for uh, women. George, I may wear the garb of a priest, but inside there still beats the heart of a hot-blooded male. The hourglass is turnable. Now, which way should I turn it? Now, which way should I turn it? Which way should I turn it? And which way should I turn it? Satisfying click. It looks like the head is now locked in place. As I move the angel's head back, a stone slab in the floor slides backwards. As I let go of the angel's head, the door shuts again. That's too quick for me to make it through in time. Mark, I need you to do something for me. I want you to hold the angel's head back so I can go through the door. That means I won't be able to come with you. Where I'm going is no place for a priest. But George, I studied Tai Chi, Jiu Jitsu, Korean kickboxing. I know the SAS handbook backwards. I've seen every Bond movie ever made. 
And I can hold my breath underwater for two minutes. Whoa, two minutes? How'd you do that? Vatican Diving Team Champion. Two years running. Cool. So, can I come? Sorry, Mark. Be careful, George!